What's up gamers, Andrew here from GamingFreaks.com and this is my third app review for the iPod Touch. Today I'm going to be reviewing Titanic Rescue. This is a free application on the App Store. And as you can see, here's the main menu. You have more games, options, and start options. We have fun stats, and fun stats say say gentlemen saved, color matches, uh, sunken uh, lifeboats, t and total duration. We also have help and credits. You most likely know what those are, so we're not going to worry about that. And a nice feature is global high scores. So the one feature I don't like about the whole global high scores is it opens up a web page and it wants you to dis choose a display name. So I'm just going to screw that over right now. And we're just going to jump right in. So as you say, no option to load or anything or anything like that. If you can see the objective here, there are people up here in the Titanic. There's fire in some of the windows, and they start jumping. And when they jump, you try to drop them into one of the boats. And if you get too many, the boat too full, everyone sinks. And up here, you can see that's how many people you have that can fall in the water before it's, you know, game over. As you see, that guy over there hit the edge of the boat and actually flew out. And you just slide your thumb back and forth right like this to try to catch them. And if you lose, game over. You have score up here. And the cool thing, after you beat it, it tells you the best, yada, yada, yada. And there you go. So this game is actually very colorful, very nice looking here. And you can actually touch the people and flick them up to make them jump. Which keeps it from getting too crowded and, you know, keeps it from being too, you know, confusing. Also, matching up different colors. So as you see, there's a red guy here. Let's see, so I'm going to just push that lifeboat over. There's also a purple guy here. Now, I may be wrong. If I'm correct, though, I'm pretty sure that the Titanic didn't have enough lifeboats. And that was the problem. Um, but you know, I may be wrong. I don't listen too much in school, so I wouldn't really know. And as you can see, you pretty much have an unlimited number of lifeboats and these little rings. You can catch someone in a ring or a lifeboat, as long as you don't sink the lifeboat. And it gets way complicated. More people all the time. Uh, the the further you go, and they sunk. And the poor people of the Titanic. Who would think that they'd make a comedy game out of this? Anyhow, as you can see, the background is really nice. It looks really good. Uh, it's actually pretty addictive to play. You try to beat your high score. It's definitely okay. The app is 100% free. There's no reason to pay. There's no type of upgrade to pay. It is 100% free. And the best part is, this application is not, uh, you know, it's not run by advertisements at the moment, at least. Uh, you know, I mean, there's no advertisements on the entire games, and there's no, on the entire game, excuse me, and there's no way to upgrade. Uh, you can press more games, of course, and I, maybe this is just a way to help, help them advertisement, uh, help them advertise, excuse me, but I have no idea why they do that. Anyhow, here's a little gameplay. That sounded graphic. Oops.
and game over. So you get the whole point of the game. This is 100% free and it's definitely okay. What I would have liked is more levels, uh, you know, maybe different boats too, a giant you know thing or some type of different background or something just to make the game up better anyhow i give this game three stars out of five and i definitely suggest you go to the app store and download this while it is still free i'll see you guys later keep gaming and be sure to go to gamingfreaks.com for related videos screenshots and more of this game the link is in the description